After defeating Palax Stalwart at the beginning of Chapter 5, he'll give you a quest to hunt down the five element carts. Your task is to find and defeat all five element cart bosses. If you successfully complete the quest, Palax Stalwart will grant you access to the Bishui Cave, the Chapter 5 secret area. Oh, lad, it can't be you. I thought you were one of them. What happened to me? The vanguard of the Bull King is relieved you're unharmed. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. I knew of you long ago. The thing you seek, the King must know about it. <laughs> Out of nowhere. The whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up, burning everything in their path. Don't seem clever. How about you find a way to destroy them, eh? They're called Five Element Carts, an evil and powerful invention of the King's Son. I'm afraid they're not only guarding the passes. Trust me, there's more to it. The Brown Iron Cart is the first cart boss you'll encounter in Chapter 5. You'll find it just a short distance up the hill from where you faced the Pale Axe Stalwart, right before the Camp of Seasons Shrine. This enemy can be quite a nuisance, as it unleashes devastating flames directly in front of it. The battleground is somewhat cramped, but if you maneuver to its side and start targeting its wheels, you can avoid its slam attacks with some well-timed dodges. While it's not easily staggered, you can keep repeating this strategy until you bring it down with relative ease. The Grey Bronze Cart is notorious for unleashing fiery blasts along this path, making it essential for you to swiftly dodge into one of the nearby alcoves whenever it strikes. As you get closer, you'll notice it mimics the attack style of the Brown Iron Cart, relying solely on a fiery breath and a powerful two-handed slam. If necessary, use your transformations to absorb some hits, but your primary goal should be to inflict maximum damage in a short time before retreating to safety in the nearest alcove to escape the flames. The Crimson Silver Cart is definitely a step up in aggression from the previous versions, so it might catch you off guard. It can emit flames from its sides and back to deter flanking attacks, and will rush at you if you pause for a breather. Nevertheless, like its predecessors, it has a soft spot. A solid charged heavy attack aimed at its back will make quick work of it. What a great fight! <laughs> you see how I swung my axe? <laughs> Someone fed that unruly boy a load of nonsense, and now he's running amok. Why doesn't the king take action? With his might, he could take down ten red boys! Uh, I can see the king from here. Stripped of his mount and weapon. I wonder what's behind all this. What else is hidden in this mountain? Uh, I feel blind. Blind. Uh, we 
should find the King's Mount first. The Bishwi Beast is treasured by the King as his own kin. How could it simply vanish? After defeating the first three cards, you need to speak to Matiamba, found inside the broken down cart in Furnace Valley at the Valley Entrance Shrine. Demise. I deem it worthy. If you can't free me from his evil, you should walk away. From death roots life, and from life, death. I should have discerned his malice, since I have bid farewell with kind words. You should depart now. The final cart, the Rusty Gold Cart, is found guarding the iced over archway near the Cooling Slope Shrine. It will only spawn if you've completed all the previous steps and dialogue options. After defeating the Rusty Gold Cart, you can speak again to the now dying Palax Stalwart to reveal the entrance to the Chapter 5 secret area. And after defeating Borlang Lang, the secret area's first boss, you'll get a cutscene that transports you to the Bishui Cave. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Stay true.